ganz wertvolles Geschenk an den Kurator des Museums hier in Grüttwigen übergeben. Und da Silvia auch eine Rolle darin spielt, darf ich Sie bitten, zunächst noch mal ein paar Worte in Englisch dazu zu sagen. Ja, danke, Kapitän. Thank you, Captain. Uh, Captain Atke says the following. This is the second time that he's happy to have everybody here today. First at the cemetery and now here. But in contrast to the ceremony, this is a very special occasion where we are honored to be able to hand this over, this book over to the curator. Thomas, I think you're the curator, right, uh, of the museum. Silber zu gehen und aus den Händen von David James ähm, die, diesen Alba Nacht entgegenzunehmen. The reason I'm standing here is because I guess indirectly I'm involved. Sarah contacted me and asked me to pick up the book from Viv James, the son of Reginald James, who had the book, Frank Worsley's book. And um, unfortunately, because my flight was delayed, I wasn't able to do it. So I contacted Captain Natke and asked him if he would be able to pick up the book because I didn't want to leave it in Cape Town. I wanted to bring it for you guys. This is einfach mal vor. Nautical Almanac oh. used by Captain Worsley in navigating the James Caird from Elephant Island to South Georgia. 24th of April to May 1960. Given to me by Worsley in Punta Arenas. Also eine handschriftliche Notiz, die ich hiermit gleich übergeben möchte. I want to hand it over to you. Um, just to briefly translate what the captain said, he did in fact um, on board the ship in a recap explain to the passengers what exactly this item is and he showed us a modern day almanac to give us an idea. But of course we have not yet seen what's inside this package. It's very delicate, it's over a hundred years old and we're I guess very honored to hand this over Absolutely. to the museum here. In yeah, and as Sylvia said already, I feel very honored to hand it over to you with white gloves, of course. <laughs> and that's Thomas, the curator of the museum, and Sarah, the director of the museum. So we have all the important people of South Georgia assembled here. Meine Damen und Herren, ich möchte das, diesen Almanach jetzt an den Kurator Thomas übergeben und Sarah ist die Direktorin des Museums. Wir kennen uns seit vielen Jahren. We know each other for many years. Uh, und ich hoffe, dass wir auch Zeuge sein werden, wenn dieser Eimer nach uh, vorsichtig ausgepackt wird. And uh, I hope we can witness when you unpack this Eimer nach. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, while Thomas is very carefully unpacking this, I want to just tell you a little bit more about this book and why it's in the condition that you will see it today. Also Sarah, währenddem er das, äh, Thomas das auspackt, äh, möchte die Sarah uns erzählen, warum das Buch in diesem Zustand ist und warum wir das so ganz vorsichtig heute auspacken. So I found in Worsley's own book his description of what happened to this book while they were out at sea. He'd managed to keep it dry. But then eventually, through stormy, stormy seas, everything got completely soaked and sodden. And he described it as in a pitiable state, soaked through, stuck together, illegible and almost impossible to write in. It took me all my time to open them without completely destroying all chance of navigating to land. Haben Sie das verstanden? Yeah. Also das war der Frank Worsley, der Kapitän von der James Caird und auch von der Endurance, der das so beschrieben hat und der sagt. And so also to explain why it starts in June, whilst the voyage of course had been earlier than that, he explained that the almanac shed its pages so rapidly before the onslaught of the seas, that it was a race whether or not the month of May would last as far as South Georgia. It did, but April vanished entirely. Also durch die Nässe sind viele Seiten rausgefallen sind durch die Nässe. So just to finish, and before you get a chance to have a look uh, a little bit uh, closer, I want to thank both Sylvia and Captain Tilo, as we know him, um, for bringing this which is now our prize exhibit in this museum. Nothing in this museum is as precious as this to us. <laughs> it's really very exciting, and thank you all for being part of that. And thank you, Captain Kilo, for doing that.